Today's Friday, August 11th. I'm Terrence Friday with your digital brief. Let's take a look at your top stories of the day. Still very, very hazardous in the burn areas. Things are falling every minute around us. Devastation continues with those Hawaiian wildfires. That's where President Biden has approved a disaster declaration. Shelters have been set up to accommodate the thousands who are now displaced, and the governor there says it will take several years and billions of dollars to rebuild. He's calling it the largest natural disaster in the state's history. And locals and visitors are trying to get off the island, and more than 11,000 people have already been evacuated. That includes people from right here in Metro Detroit witnessing the devastation firsthand. I told them it reminded me of scenes that I had seen on the news of Middle Eastern airports where people are trying to flee. Um, it was it was chaotic. There were lines and lines of people just trying to get a flight. So learning that some major airlines are also stepping up to help travelers leave the islands. United and American Airlines say they've canceled yesterday's inbound flights to Maui. They're sending empty planes there instead to help people escape. Here in Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer and State Senator Kristen McDonald Rivet paid a visit to Midland this week to host a roundtable focusing on conquering the child care crisis so your family doesn't have to. They came to the Longview Early Children's Center for a tour and also to hold that roundtable discussion with staff and community partners. Whitmer signed the next state budget last month, and it includes a record $1.4 billion in child care funding. It's a complete barrier for a lot of people to even re-entering the workforce because they don't have a great place for their children while they are at work. And so it impacts everything from the employer who's looking for talent to the family that is trying to do the best they can for their children and put food on the table at the same time. State child care funding in the next budget includes $1,000 bonuses and 38,000 child care professionals, along with an increase in child care subsidy rates. Let's turn now to next weather meteorologist Kylie Miller with an update on the forecast. Well, early on today, it's been calm, but starting this afternoon, going through the evening hours, perhaps even the early overnight, rain showers and storms, and some storms could go strong to even severe, with the primary threats being wind damage, hail, but we can't rule out having flooding or a spin-up tornado. Temperatures for highs today, low 80s. Tomorrow morning, maybe a stray lingering shower. Otherwise, you can expect decreasing clouds. Temperatures will be the 80s over the weekend. Sunday looking fabulous, mostly sunny sky conditions. A little bit cooler early next week with the chance of rain showers and storms Monday, drier conditions for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right, thanks, Kylie. That's going to do it for today's digital brief. For weather news and sports, we're covering it all for you here on CBS News Detroit, streaming live on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.